we saw it was a 9.8 CVSS, which means it's easy to exploit um, at low complexity and also kind of gives you the keys of the kingdom. So we like to see those um, and they're because they're easy to find, easy to go after, they're, they're big wins. So as soon as we saw this come out, we downloaded some firmware for 40 OS. And the first few hours were really about unpacking the firmware, seeing if we could even to get it run. Um, we got it running a, a VMware, VMDK file. And then we started to unpack the firmware to see what we could find inside. Um, and that was uh, probably at least half of the time. Um, there seemed to be maybe a little bit of obfuscation in the firmware. Um, we were able to analyze the VMDK files and get them mounted. And we saw that there were uh, their operating system was compressed. And when we went to decompress them, we were getting some strange um, decompression errors, corruption errors. And we were kind of scratching our heads a little bit, like, you know, what's going on here? These look like they're legitimately compressed files. Um, and after a while, we noticed they had what seemed to be a different decompression tool than what we had on our systems, also in that VMDK. And so we were able to, to get that running and decompress the firmware and from there we were off to the races to to dive deeper into the differences between the vulnerable firmware and the patch firmware